Okay, in this video we're going to be uh, opening up and inspecting this peerless gearbox. So if you've got a gearbox similar to this and want to know for definite what model number it's actually got, you should be able to find a plate on the side of it somewhere. Now on these ones it's just below the brake disc which is on the side and it's normally riveted on there but they can fall off from time to time so it's possible that yours will have been lost. Right, so we're just going to open this up today and have a look inside and inspect the gears and condition of all them. You may have noticed that it hasn't actually got its differential in because it's not got the uh, half shaft which come out the side. Um, the reason for that is because it actually broke in this one and then I haven't been able to get another one to replace it. I'm actually thinking of mending the original one which was in it because of the cost of these things now. Unless you can get another one used then it can be quite expensive. Um, so for the time being it's not actually being used for anything, it's just here well, to make this video and for any of the spare parts that I need from it unless I do decide to put a new differential in and then I can use it on a ride on mower. But like I say this video will probably decide what I actually do with it. If there's some broken gears or anything like that, some worn out teeth then unless I can find a used one or find some cheap parts for it the chances are I'll just be using this one as parts for my other ones. So all I'm going to do is remove every bolt which runs around the side here and there's one in the centre there and they're around the front. So if you are taking one of these apart make sure you remove every single bolt. If you get to the stage where it just will not open and you think you've removed every single bolt then just double check, especially this one in the middle. Make sure you've got that one out because the last thing you want to be doing is putting a chisel in the side and hammering it and then cracking the case. Normally these things will come apart fairly easily when you've removed every bolt. Now they may have been silicon together like a gasket um, and you might need to just sort of wiggle it just to get that off but you shouldn't have to put a chisel in it or anything because that will just damage it. Right okay so we're going to open it up now. I'm just going to use this speed wrench because it's a lot easier for these things. One thing I must say though is do not use an impact wrench or an air wrench on these because what you'll do, especially when you're putting it back together, is you'll zap it up and because it's only aluminium you'll just strip the thread out of there and then these bolts won't go in anymore and you will have ruined the case and they'll either need re-tapping or you'll have to get a whole new case. Okay, so that's all the bolts slackened off. Now, when you open it up, you'll have a ball bearing and a spring, which is kept inside here. And that is for the shifting, when, when you shift gear. And when you open this case up, the chances are these two things will fall out. So what you need to do is be very careful when you take this apart, and make sure these don't go anywhere, because you'll lose them. This ball bearing especially will just roll away without you even knowing. And if you don't put them back in again when you rebuild it through this hole, then you're going to have some shifting problems. So another important thing when you're taking this apart is to check the length of the bolts which you take out. Now I know that all the bolts on this gearbox are all the same so I don't have to worry about mixing them up um, but I know that on some and there are some peerless ones that are like this that the centre one especially will be longer or shorter than the ones that run on the outside so make sure that you keep them together and don't mix them up because otherwise when you put it back together you might put the longer one in a shorter one's hole and then you might strip the thread or snap the bolt. Okay so I'm now going to open this thing up I'm just going to flip it over onto its back. Now if you're doing this, make sure you hold it together otherwise it will come apart. And then you should be able to just lift this back off 
and then you can get into it. So you see it's got plenty of grease in here and it looks to be in fairly good shape, not with any metal shavings or anything. And the other side looks quite good as well and it looks like these gears have got a fair amount of life left in them. Just another quick thing I recommend is when you're inside these gearboxes, because they're so greasy, I recommend putting some disposable gloves on just because it keeps your hands clean. So I'm not actually going to take any of this out because it's, I feel it's a bit unnecessary at this time because I don't actually know what needs replacing, if anything needs replacing. But I'm just going to inspect all the gears and to do this there is an input shaft on the other side and that should twist and it means it will turn all these gears round. So I'm just going to look at each, each tooth on each gear and make sure none have snapped off or worn out. Okay, so I've inspected the gearbox now. I've only found one thing wrong with it, and that is that there's a tooth completely been ripped off here. I can't find it anywhere in the grease. It's probably in there somewhere. I don't really fancy digging in it all to get it out. So when you've got your gearbox open, you may as well just check everything over twice, just in case, because you don't want to be opening this thing up and then closing it up and then putting it back on your tractor and then finding out that you've missed something and it's gone wrong when you could have changed it when you were in it. So it's worth just checking everything twice and looking carefully at everything. Make sure none of the bushings have gone, make sure the shifter still shifts well, uh, make sure you put the ball bearing and spring back in properly and just basically check for any wearing parts, especially check for any metal shavings in the grease because that's a sign that something is wearing and it shouldn't be or it could just be that it's had a lot of use and it's just natural wear over a long time um, but either way if you have got it full of metal shavings then you need to get them cleaned out and put fresh grease in so yeah, I'm just going to put this thing back together again now and probably go back inside it at a later date to fix these problems it's got I will try my best to make a video on it if I actually do go ahead with the fixes, otherwise it will just be a parts gearbox. So when you're putting your gearbox back together, like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you do not use an air wrench because you'll strip the threads or you may snap the bolt. Um, so yeah, just put it back together with a normal ratchet or a spanner and then you'll prevent anything from being damaged when putting it back together.